so welcome back everyone and i hope you guys have been practicing well so welcome back to my channel and welcome and today's the gfg gfg period streak is day 137 so let us see what the today's question is about and let's see what are all the approaches we can think and code of so today's question name is max level sum in a binary tree the tag you can see is a binary search tree and binary search asked in amazon as well so it's an easy category question let us see what the question says so it's like 12 21 am of the midnight and let us resume our hustling right so given a binary tree having positive and negative nodes find the maximum sum of a level in a bi given binary tree okay so for each and every level i guess you need to maintain a sum like for the zeroth level there's only one node so it's four for the first level if you maintain the sum of uh, two minus five that will be minus three similarly for the, the third level that is if you start from the zero base index in that it will be second level and if you calculate the sum, it will be 6. So you have to return the maximum sum. So this actually make easy category question here. This is, if you trees, so the first topic itself is a level order traversal, right? So why do we do that? We have to level by level traverse. Karna hai. And for each and every level, we, need, we have to maintain this sum, right? And when you come to the next level, you need to return the maximum of the sum present in each level. So let us see. So this question is all about how we can, uh, do we understand level order, level order traversal or not? This question is solely based on this thing right so let us see so for level order traversal what we do is we maintain a queue right and the logic here is that as soon as we process a node as soon as you process a node push its children into the queue process a node push its children so let me give you a dry run and from the dry run itself i will exp i will we will uh, come up with the code that how the code should be written instead of just uh, memorizing that how the level order traversal works right so we'll have to maintain a queue so initially it will we will push the root node in our queue and now you can say that the current level just have one node right so i can use n equals to let's say q dot size which will which will give me the answer that how many nodes are present in each level right we will process this node so let's say um, we will store this node in a current pointer so it will be four and for each and for each and every level we have to maintain a sum so initially sum will be zero and now since we have processed this node it will be zero plus four that is four right now since we have processed this thing down we will push the children for the next iteration so if we push the children the since this four have been processed so it will come out and it will push the children to comma minus five right now here the n is equals to two that is you can clearly see that in the second level the number of nodes were two and in third it will three we will verify it time by time to see if our code and logic matches right so for n equals to 2 you can clearly see that there are nodes 2 comma minus 5 so now my current will be pointing to the sum will be first in uh, update to 0 current will be pointing to it will be pushed out from the queue as well as it will be included in our sum so it will be sum will nothing but 0 plus 2 that is 2 right and the next iteration so after we uh, finish processing this node we need to push we need to push the child of the process node so we have processed 2 right so we will push the child so minus 5 was previously present i will push minus 1 and 3 similarly if i keep on doing it now the current pointer will be minus 5 so it will be popped out and sum is equals to the previous one that is 2 plus minus 5 that will be coming to minus 3 since we have processed the node minus 5 we have to push its children so uh, now our queue will look like minus 1 3 and the fifth children are 2 and 6 right so we have 9 equals to 2, right? And we have processed two times. As you can see, we have popped out two, two times, uh, the twice the node. The first node was 2 and the second was minus 5. So now our next queue for the next level queue has been updated as minus 1, 3, minus 2, and 6. And if you do again n equals to q dot size, you will get the number of nodes as 4. And you can clearly see that there in the third level itself, the number of nodes were 4, right? You can clearly see that. And the third level it was four so clearly now the current will be pointing to initially the sum will be zero for this level the current will point to minus one and sum will also be point to minus one then it will be popped out similarly current will now now point to three and the sum will be the sum of minus one plus three that is that is plus two this will be popped out similarly uh, the process node minus one and three don't have any children you can see there is null and null for these all three nodes right so we will check that if the left and right child are not null then only push the children now the current will pop the next node that is minus 2 minus 2 and the sum will be updated as 2 minus 2 that is 0 similarly the last node will be popped out that is current is equals to 6 and the sum will be updated as 0 plus 6 that is 6 
Now you can see for each and every level, the first level got the answer as 4, the second level got the answer as me, and the third level as 6. They need to return the max, right? Right. So that's the whole logic here. Let us let us let us try to write the code from the dry run itself because then you'll be able to uh, understand it more clearly, right? So when did we stop our whole process? Until and unless our queue got empty, right? Our queue become empty, right? So our first global, what can I say? Our first, first global step will be that I need a while loop. I will say that queue is not empty. Till then, I need to process it, right? And before this thing, I need to make a queue and I have to push the root node, right? Right. The second step was to, uh, I was maintaining the queue size and this queue size was nothing but giving me the level of uh, the uh, the number of nodes present in the subsequent levels, right? I need to traverse n times. So for uh, for i equals to 0, i less than n, I will keep on processing these n nodes, right? So I will store this in a, let's say, a current pointer as we were doing in our dry run. So node current is nothing but q.pull, right? I am writing in the Java format. So if you if you have done this, then you have to maintain a sum variable as well. So for each and every level, uh, before you process, you have to maintain a sum as a zero, let's say, right? And you will say that sum is equals to nothing but sum plus current dot data. I hope you are with me till this point, right? And one more thing here, like uh, uh, I highly recommend you to pause this video and and try to code the rest of the things yourself, right? So I hope you were able to do so and let us continue the video now. So sum will be nothing but sum plus current of data and I will check that if the process node, the left children is not null, if it is not equals to null and similarly if current dot right is not equals to null then push its children. So I will just say that q dot add t dot left. Don't mind my handwriting, just understand the, try to understand, comprehend the uh, logic, right? So it will be current dot right. We have pushed the children. Right, I already showed you the dry run. So now this for loop will end here, right? And this while loop here, you have to maintain the answer variable, let's say, which will compare, which will maintain the maximum of sum of from each and every subsequent level. So for each and every level, we are maintaining the sum in zero. So I will compare it with max dot max sum. After the while loop, we will just say that return sum, not sum return answer. What would be the time complexity of this code? Since you can see that when there's dry run, we visit each and every node just once, right? So that means that you have visit each and every node, so it will be time complexity will be O of n. What will be the space complexity? As you can see that for each and every level, we are storing the number of nodes of for each level in a queue, right? So whenever, so let's say this have this tree, right? So for a particular moment, you will have the maximum elements as these, right? So I can say that the space complexity will be the nothing but the max elements in level uh, of tree in level of tree or you can say the maximum width of tree maximum width of tree so i hope you are clear with this point the pseudo code i just show you you need, now you just have to exact type this pseudo code in your code editor do this yourself and then we'll come again and we'll verify that our code and my code uh, works are same right and let us see the constraint as well that before typing it so n is 10 power 4, which is definitely less than 10 power 8. And we have the space of O of n, so it will definitely get summit. So I'm pausing the video now. You also pause the video here and try to try to simulate this pseudo code and put it yourself, right? So I have written the exact pseudo code and the dry run I explained to you the exact same thing. The first while loop, the n is equal to q dot size, when we iterated for the n nodes, right? So you can see that we, we made a q. We added the first root node. I made an answer variable. Answer variable is nothing, but for each level, we are tracking the maximum answer. Then we iterated for while queue is not empty. I already explained to you why is that. Then I got the number of nodes in each level. I executed a follow for those nodes and processed it. Add it in my sum. And if the children are present, then add it in my queue and finally return the answer. So let us compile and run, and we will see for ourselves that our code and the logic are on the same page or not, right? So definitely the compilation will pass. As you can see, it has passed. And since the overall complexity is O of n, which is 10 power 4, less than 10 power 8, so it will definitely get summit, right? So it's been like 12.32 AM. And this code was actually very easy, right? So in, in one attempt also, you can see that I have done this code. And I hope you guys will be able to do so with yourself. So it's just the standard traversal. The first question, the first concept we study in the tree, right? So that's it for today's, today's video. Let us meet in the uh, next lecture. And the last initiative that this is the Java code in the right hand side as well as the C code on the 
left hand side so till then bye bye keep learning keep growing and take care right bye bye